recording this game. Well, okay there, buddy. I guess I can't just read it as simple as I want to. Ah. Hello, everyone, and it's me, Jared Gaming here, and welcome to some more Five Nights at Freddy's. It was about like a week ago that I last played this, and I was like, you know what? I should really play this again, because I know that if I don't, I will not play it again. Even though I really, really, really want to. It's always been at the back of my mind while I was trying to play some more Smash Bros. or Splatoon, and you know, dealing with Hallmark, working on my 2019 Rewind thing that... Actually, I can't describe it yet, because I don't want to spoil it for you guys. But I have been working on it. That's that. And now, we are here to play some more Five Nights at Freddy's. My goal is to finish night five in this one recording, this one whole recording. I know what I should be doing. So, with that out of the way, let's just get started. Night three. Here we go. I know what I need to be doing. I also have like Mentos and I have a uh, Skittles. So like, that should be great. Okay, that's that. This time I'm not feeling sick. Okay, I'm ready. I know what to do now. First, let's chill in the office a bit. Oh, hello. Hey, you're doing great. Uh, most people don't last this long. Really? I mean, you know, they usually move on to other things by now. Uh, uh, I'm not implying that they die. That, that, that's not what I meant. Sure thing, uh, buddy. Anyway, I, I better not take up too much of your time. Uh, things are getting real tonight. Really? Uh, uh, hey, listen, I, I had an idea. Yeah? If you happen to get caught and want to avoid getting stuffed into a Freddy suit, uh, try playing dead. You know, go, go limp. limp. Then there's a chance that uh, maybe they'll think that you're an empty costume instead. Sure thing, buddy. Then again, if they think you're an empty costume, they might try to stuff a metal skeleton into you. I wonder how that would work. It wouldn't. Yeah, never mind. Scratch that. It's best just not to get caught. Um... Uh, okay, I'll, I'll leave you to it. See you on the flip side. What he actually means by go limb is that when the power goes out, don't do anything. Just just don't do anything. Just sit still. Do literally nothing. Don't don't move. Don't interact with the buttons. Don't do anything. Just literally pretend like you're dead. Drop the controller, in fact. That's what he means by go limb. It took ever it took me a while to figure that out. Or to learn about it, apparently. But it's a thing. Okay, wait, hold up. If I see an animatron, just shut the door like that. Okay, okay. I got it. I got it. I know what to do. I know what I'm doing. The one problem might be Freddy. Because he's going to be active in this night. And I got to, like, keep tabs on him. Okay, Chica's already... Oh, Chica's gone. Bonnie's not even off stage. Okay, so maybe I should give it a moment or so. Because, like, I don't hear any footsteps. Maybe I should listen for footsteps first. And then check. Because I don't hear any right now. Maybe I should just turn my TV up louder. So that way I can get the scare, the scare factor a lot more. Oh no, she's right there. They haven't even moved. Like, she's right there. Bonnie's still on stage. It's 1 a.m. What are we doing? It's only night three. I mean, what, what, what the heck happened last night where Bonnie was literally off stage pretty much when the game started? And then he was already at my door when I accidentally muted the call. Like, what happened? Okay, she is now in the kitchen because I can hear her crambering with the dishes. Foxy's already out. That's not good. That was actually kind of quick. Okay, so Foxy's probably gonna be a problem. Bonnie, literally, look. Didn't even leave the stage yet. Chica's already gone. Chica's not here yet. But Bonnie, he was like at my door before even 2 a.m. What's happening this night? I mean, I know this is the more aggressive night for Chica, but like, Bonnie is still on stage. Look. Look at him. Look at that heck. Still on stage. Okay, now I hear footsteps. I'm assuming that's Chica. Bonnie is still on stage. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Oh, she's in the kitchen. Also, what I like to do is that um, I like to use the D-pad to maneuver around the cameras because I know that you know, since because this doesn't have any notches like the GameCube controller does, it could get a bit messy trying to. Okay, yeah, someone's doing a small banging. I think she is nearby. No, she's not. That's weird. I literally heard like a small bang. Like I feel, I think, like every time you hear that noise, I'm like for sure they're close, but I don't think that's the case right now. And Freddy moved. I I, I heard him. Hold up. He's usually in this camera, but Bonnie is Bonnie's image is overlaying Freddy's eyes. It would be cool if uh, they could get like, if, you know, it would have been cool. If Scott Cawthon like made an update to where there were like certain parts of the image that allow us to see Freddy or allow us to see multiple animatronics like not like you know all three but like you know at least two because I feel like that you know Freddy's eyes should at least be visible okay there's Bonnie they're not even that far actually I don't know why I'm frequently checking the lights that should be something I should be doing on night five if anything they're not even moving they're not Jig is moving but she hasn't moved anywhere close to my office she's yeah, see, there's Freddy. He's over there. Actually. Bro, that's so cool. You could partially see his body. I didn't I didn't know that. I thought it was only his eyes you can see. Okay, she gets in the kitchen. No one is making any movement whatsoever. And yeah, I'm trying to check as frequent as possible. I don't know how I'm going to be editing this as well. Because, like, I feel like when it comes to horror games, I should, like, leave them mostly unedited. Because, uh... Nice. I usually like to leave them unedited so that we can get some, like, you know, footage in, or I shouldn't, like, increase the scare factor a bit from the video. Because I feel like when I just do so many frequent cuts it just ruins the scare of it and it's more of that oh yeah the focus is not on the you know the actual animatronics or the actual video itself the focus is on me and I want it to be a little less on me by doing like those frequent cuts which I'm, I'm probably gonna say that and still do frequent cuts because admittedly what are all I'm literally wait oh shoot that was a rare screen I just missed I saw the heads they were looking at me literally all you do in this game is just flip up the camera, check the light, check the light, the animatronics there, close the door. I mean, even though that's all this game is, then again, horror games are never meant to be, like, excessively, amazingly fun like Smash Brothers, Splatoon 2, because then that's just not scary, you know? If it's fun, then it's probably not scary. Actually, maybe that's the exact opposite. Or no, not the exact opposite, but, like, maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe there is a horror game that's actually really, really, really fun and that's actually playable. And, or should I say, scary. It's a, f a fun horror game that's actually scary. Because I don't really think there is any horror game that's like, so fun, it's your game of the year. Doki Doki Literature Club is a really good game. But it's not a fun game. It's just a meta game. Is there a horror game that's actually really that fun? Because I don't think that exists, to be honest. I really don't. I feel weirded out that it's like 5 a.m. And Chica has appeared at my door once. Freddy just moved twice. And Bonnie hasn't even checked up at my door at all. Chica's at camera 7. I think so is Freddy, because if Freddy moved to the kitchen, he would make that little jingle noise that he does when the power goes out. Oh my gosh, Foxy, I'm checking on, on him as frequent as possible, and he's just like, he's just crawling up at it somehow, even though I'm literally keeping my tabs on him. Seriously. This night three, no one's here. Where are they? Actually, I'm curious. Where are they? Okay, Bonnie's right there. Where's Chica? Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 
Oh, see, see, the night, the night's over. The night's over. She yeah! appeared in my front door once. That was literally the only attack. It's night three. Where was Bonnie at like night two, where he showed up at my door like what three, five times? So crazy. What the heck? Oh yeah, isn't this the call where phone guy dies? This was probably the scariest part of the whole game. In my opinion, at least. Like, oh yeah. Oh, oh, hey. Hey, well, day four. Like, you can hear him. He's worried. Or he's got that, like, little... Uh, 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 uh. See, you hear the banging, like... People thought this was the purple guy. Like, what the heck? Just because Matt, Pat thought he was the purple guy. See, like, that's why the call is so scary. There is a scream that you've never heard. Or at least if you've encountered, if you haven't encountered Golden Freddy, which I'm actually being honest, I, of all my times I've played Five Nights at Freddy's 1, I've literally never encountered Golden Freddy. You have all these other people who've encountered Golden Freddy. Like, you have Blasphemous H2. We're actually screwed. We're, we're actually screwed. Where's Foxy at least? And he's gone! Oh my... Foxy was just gone. Wow! I spoke too soon. Like, I was all like, man, Bonnie, where are you at? You're like, are you trying to, like, beef up or something? Like, or do you just not want to beef up? And then, like, here he comes out of nowhere. 1 a.m. jams my door when I first see him. That's actually kind of crazy. Now we actually start playing for real. Now we actually start playing for real. Okay, so it was 1 a.m. that he showed up at my door. Or maybe I should, like, keep a tab on maybe, like, 2A and 2B. I don't know about Chica, though. Because I feel like... She... What? Like, Foxy, are you okay? I'm like, literally, like... Hi, Foxy? Freddy's already moved. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon. Night 4 is actually like... Holy potatoes. Like, one... Like, now this game is like, making you do the, uh... That one strategy where you actually like, beat the game. Even at its highest difficulty. One night four. Like, it's an easy strategy, but I don't want to, like, jump to the cut just like that. Because then the video would just be boring, you know? Where is Bobby? Okay, not here yet. I keep checking that hallway for some reason. No, he's not here. Yeah, he's not anywhere near. I don't know about Chica, though. Chica. She got you here. What was I gonna say, actually? Something about, like, the phone guy, and people thought he was, like, you know. Oh no! I was talking about why the Night 4 phone call is so scary. And then I was like, oh yeah, I've never encountered Golden Freddy in my life in this game. Freddy's already moved twice. That's kind of crazy, actually. I kind of feel weird that I have a really good memory of this game. Despite me not have playing it for like two years. Or the fact that this game's considerably old now. I think someone's nearby because I hear banging noises. I don't know. Um Freddy's moves three times. He's in the kitchen. You can hear I don't know if you guys can hear, but there's a little jingle sound. But yeah, I've never encountered Golden Freddy. In my life, in this game in particular. And yeah, you have all these people like Blasphemous HD. They encountered he encountered Golden Freddy night one. And supposedly Golden Freddy has like this like one out of like a million chance that he'll show up, or like fifty thousand, or some incredibly high number that's like not even a that's it's not even 
he doesn't even have a 1% chance of showing up. It might as well, like, not even be zero. It might as well just be negative one. He might as well not even be in the game. And yet, like, yeah, everyone encounters him somehow. And I have him. And I've, like, tried to encounter him multiple times. Which is also weird, because I got the Golden Freddy Easter egg at Finance at Freddy's 3, like, what, twice, I think? And I've never gotten it in this... Oh! I, I heard robotic noises, like, there was, a, there was, like, this noise that they make when they're, like, at 2B or 4B. And their head starts jittering, too, that's the creepy part this game actually the more I remember this game see look at that look at that look how creepy that is oh like imagine like just imagine like just what you finally get to night four and you just see that like you see Bonnie and Chica like jittering their heads back and forth like just imagine like now I'm starting to remember how creepy this game was there were just things that were, like, I, that's what I love about this, that's what I think this game has something that all the Finance of Freddy's games don't have. It has something that's introduced throughout the later nights, like the head jittering and the robot noises, like you can hear, I can hear it right now, but it could just be the fact that my TV is really loud, and that, you know, I'm hearing it, they're nearby. Freddy is actually at 4A. That's crazy. And it's 2 a.m. Doesn't isn't his like AI number like really low or something? On this night? And even the fifth night, even the sixth night? This is actually kinda hard. Or not hard, but like it's kinda crazy. What's also really weird is that when the animatronics move. Oh my gosh, he's actually at 4B. That is crazy. Okay. I don't wanna mention it now. There's like this little strategy where if you check the cameras as a whole, Foxy is forced to stay still for whatever reason. I don't know why, but like I'm checking, like in the 420 mode strategy, at least what I do, because I got, I don't know who I got it from, but I got it from someone. You can like toggle your camera on Freddy over and over and over so frequently and Foxy won't move. And it could just be the fact that it could it could be that if you flip your camera up See look at Chica! Look at that! And the fact that the game looks so realistic, or not that realistic, but like it's kind of real? Like it has a real authentic feeling to it. It's just kind of creepy. Actually, hang on, let me check on what's popping with Foxy. <sighs> That's not good. This is creepy. Maybe I should just be a lot more frequent with my cameras. Even though I don't really want to be. Because that's probably going to be like mind boggling to for some of you guys who are probably watching this like really late at night. And for me who's playing this game at like nearly 8 o'clock. And you know, obviously 8 o'clock, not that late, but you know, in winter times, yeah it is. It's pretty late. Very late, in fact. Let me see who's popping with Foxy. Already out! Holy potatoes! And I saw the It's Me poster. Wow! I'm actually kind of surprised these animatronics are kind of going at it. Fourth night. Foxy's already banged at the door. That's, oh my gosh, what's 2020 mode going to be like? You know what's really weird because I like got a comment on my uh, first Finance of Freeze video for the Switch. And someone literally commented on how 2020 2020 20 mode is easier than it is on the computer. Which I don't know about you guys, but I want to think that's false. Or actually, maybe for all I know, the animatronics are just more aggressive on the, you know, basic nights. And 2020 2020 mode is actually just as difficult as it is on the computer. And maybe it could also just be the fact that everyone's not used to, you know, doing crazy things with their wrist. See, look, look at Chica. Dang, she looks creepy. Oh, yeah, because the light turned off 
when I turned it on. So I just knew. And I think she is gone. Yeah, she's gone. See, yeah, it's, I, I don't know, it could just be me, but I just think it's weird to have a memory of games like this. Actually, hold up. I'm checking Fox again. Um, okay. In his cove, all tamed, normal, more than likely. Oh, yeah, about the image layering. Uh, Freddy's actually in this spot, but Chica's image is kind of covering it. Look at her. Just look at that. Why did... I wonder why video game. I wonder why all the other Finance of Phrase games don't have attention like this. Cause like, this is one of the biggest things in my opinion is the fact that they're just at the door, and the it's me thing is popping up. I don't know why. It's really freaking me out. It's like this game used to have been like the scariest because like it's got all these weird. Like you have spider webs. You have animatronics jittering their heads when it's night four on specific cameras. You have all these rare screens. Like, there's almost none of that in Finance of Phrase 2, and there's straight up none of that in all the other games. It's weird. Like, why? Why is it that? Oh, shoot, I'm out of power. Oh, wow, right as I ran out of power. Right as I ran out of power. Oh, right when I was about to. It Turns to 6 a.m. Night 5, here we go. I'm contemplating whether if I do night 6 after this. I feel like I should. But like making it like a like a, a separate video. Or something. Chica's already gone. Chica's already gone. Bonnie's is already gone. Oh shoot this. Can you guys remind me how you first felt when you heard that? Because when I first heard that, I thought it was fake, to be honest. Like, when I first heard that, like, in a video, I actually thought it was fake. Because it was so weird, first of all. They're near. I hear the robotic sounds. Freddy's already in the kitchen. Bro. Freddy's actually more aggressive. That's weird, because, like, I would have, like, times or nights where, back on the computer version, where Freddy just wouldn't even move. And here I am. Freddy's already in the kitchen. And we just started. Freddy was never this aggressive on the computer version, I swear. Like, he would get there at, like, 4 a.m. on night 5. It's 1 a.m. Immediately, now that we have buttons, it's kind of like the... What is it? That ultimate... Already there, that's crazy. Alright, I'm going to have to do that one strategy where I would usually do on uh, 420 mode. You just want to keep the camera locked on Freddy the whole time. Don't even switch cameras. I mean, I really want to check on Foxy, but like, this is literally the strat of beating the game. Keep it on Freddy, check Bonnie over here. And then if Chica comes in, this Chica has to come to this camera before entering my door. At least this is what I'm sure, at least. Unless Scott Cawthon changed it to where Chica could occasionally hop to the door without going into this camera right here. But yeah, yeah like she's right there. So right there. If she leaves, 
She's at my door. Called it too. Alright, Chica's gone. Because I heard the footsteps. I actually like how I get to hear all the game audio now. Or all those little small audios that you can't really hear all the time. Because now I can actually, like, differentiate them in a way where it's like, oh yeah, Chica left, and then she actually did leave. Like, now, it, like, I like how it's a bit more sound reliant. Like, now you can probably pass the night without needing to look at the cameras too often. Well, obviously, to check on Foxy, of course, but, you know. Now you can kind of just guess when they leave. Like, I heard the footsteps right there, too. And she actually left. Foxy? I really want to check on Foxy, but I don't. I mean, that's at least my 420 mode strategy. Don't even check on Foxy at all. Just pray to God that he's not even leaving. If you at least check the cameras frequently, like, you know, the way I'm doing it right now, then more than likely, he shouldn't be leaving. Also, I guess the strat is a bit dependent on how long Chica stays at my door. I mean, it's only 3 a.m., 47% power. Usually, I would have a power outage, like, at the last five seconds. But even then, I, actually, no. There are occasionally times where I can go, where you can, I think there were, like, multiple times where I be in 420 mode without losing power. I don't remember how I did it, but I think it was, like, dependent on, like, timing or something. I think it was like, how did I do it? Maybe I just got lucky in that they just didn't appear that often. Also, I'm like, for sure, if I let my camera go off of Freddy, he'll kill me instantly. So this is kind of scary. I should probably like leave my thumb off of the little joystick just in case if I slip. You know how in the old, okay, I don't know if I already said this, I probably did, but I didn't get to finish my sentence, but in Ultimate Custom Night, you know how, and in, uh, Finance of Face this location, Custom Night as well, you know how it, people say it's easier because now you can press the buttons? Well, they weren't wrong. It really is easier because you can press the buttons. Like, now I don't have to, like, constantly, like, flick my mouse over to the buttons just to check a door light, but now I can just do it by pressing B or A. Yeah, yeah, B, oh my gosh, I I can't believe I thought of an Xbox controller for a second. But yeah, now I know. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, I don't know. Now I can just do it effortlessly. Play the game effortlessly. Even though it kind of stinks, stinks that not all the buttons are utilized. But you know, whatever, right? You know, the more I think about it, this game only uses, like, five buttons, excluding the D-pad and the joystick, because I don't count them as buttons. But this game actually uses five buttons. I'm pressing the left for, uh, the, you know, the L-stick, or the, the L button for, uh, you know, toggling, flipping up the camera. B to check the light. Uh, what else? A to close doors. And then you just have X to punk Freddy's nose. And then you have Y to mute the phone call. So if you were being really technical, you could you only need three buttons. You know what this means? When I play the sixth night, I'm using a GameCube controller. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just use the GameCube controller. When playing. Dang, he's already gone. When playing, uh, what is it? Okay, she is actually there. 5 a.m. I actually kind of think I'm low on power. You see, it's 5 a.m. Foxy hasn't even come in yet. Or Foxy hasn't given any signals that he's coming. See, like, this is working. But I just don't like that it works. That's just my problem. Oh, I'm at the wrong camera. Oh, if it wasn't for the fact that I had that door shut, I would have died. I didn't even know I toggled the camera. Okay. I didn't check on Foxy. 
Actually, just for... Did he move? Did Freddy move? Because... Alright, no, no, no. That's it. We're sitting out. We're sitting out. Oh no! He appeared too early. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on, 5 6 a.m. Where are you? Where are you? I need you. Ah! My strategy is ruined. <gasps> well, but he actually had me. He actually had me. Oh. <gasps> that was crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I actually just did that. That was night five. That was crazy. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Oh my gosh. Wow, that was that was actually nuts. So so far we've died twice. Night two and night four. Weirdly enough, from Bonnie. Um, we'll head to night six in a separate video, I guess. For now, just leave it there. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna edit this because I'm like contemplating on whether if I like, you know, do like major, like, cuts or something, or if I just leave the video cleaned out. Actually, no. Other than the beginning, I'm gonna leave most of the gameplay cleaned out. Because I feel like that's better to make it scarier. Because like, um, I feel like then you guys get the full rem rem the full immerse of the actual experience. So I think like okay, and technically also I didn't really do that many cuts in um the Slenderman Arrival videos, but no one really knows that because no one really watched those for whatever reason. Because I thought that was like the hype thing of October. To just you know play Slenderman with friends or technically family members, and then no one watched that, which is sad. Or maybe you guys might enjoy a little friends thing with Final Fantasy Freddy's 2. Because I purchased that game as well. I actually purchased it. Let me show you guys right now. Look at that. Right here. Final Fantasy Freddy's 2. I purchased both one and two because I knew they were the best. Three and four I'll get later. But for now we have one and two. But anyways, if you guys enjoy watching this video, give it a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If, okay, uh, how about this? If this video gets 10 to like maybe 15 likes, I don't know. 15 likes. If this video gets 15 likes, I'll, um, I'll try to do something about the Finance of Freddy's 2 video. Like maybe like do it with friends and family playing Finance of Freddy's 2. I think that would be really fun. I think I should do that. Or I'll do something else with it. Maybe I'll just literally pump out a night sex video or something i don't know anyways 15 likes i'll do something i don't know why but without further ado see you guys whatever we do next take care god bless you guys and if for some reason this video actually does get 15 likes because i mentioned hey get get me 15 likes i think i'm gonna actually get a little bit mad because then i'm gonna start heading for like goals and I really don't like doing that because it's just really weird. I'm actually looking at Freddy and I'm just now noticing how creepy he actually is. Like, you can see like the side of him a bit. Or you know, you, you, you have like a whole light shine upon his, uh, his half. But you can see his other eyeball. And I don't like that. If I couldn't see his other eyeball, this would be less scarier. Dang, this, now that I'm remembering, this game has so much going for it on it just, it being scary. I mean, not the scariest game, but just scary. Like, scarier than all the other Finance of Freddy's games, and scarier than a lot of other horror games. Like, this is actually scary. I guess I'm just upset that I'm not scared from it. Because then that just ruins it. Maybe I should start playing this when I'm home alone. To be scared. I don't know. See you guys, whatever we do next. Take care. God bless you guys. Goodbye. I don't know. 15 likes, please. Please.